was a little kid, he dreams of one day playing college basketball. Stan started off his basketball career at the University of Indiana. Quiet those so far. After getting into some trouble and finding himself on the sidelines averaging just 11.3 minutes per game during his sophomore campaign, Stan decided to transfer to the University of Rhode Island. Since Dan has been sitting out for the past year, his main focus has been to work on his game and to become a better leader on and off the court. Uh, my transition, it was, it was hard. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it wasn't easy as I thought it would be. Um, when I was at Indiana, I thought I could just leave and you know, everything would be the same. Uh, I'd be the same player, have the same uh, support system. Um, but it actually wasn't because when I got here, uh, a lot of people that was in my support system kind of turned their back on me. Uh, they, they didn't want to have anything to do with me um, because I was off the radar. So I wasn't as big as I was uh, going into India. So uh, I got to see who like, my real friends were and you know, my fake friends were. Um, Stan, ever since he got on campus, he's been an energy guy on the court, off the court. Um, he pushes all of us to be better each and every day. This year was his redshirt year, but every day in practice, he played like he was playing the next game with us. At the University of Rhode Island, Stan did not only gain teammates, he also gained brothers. Uh, you know, the other schools that I chose, the other schools that I was considering, it was only two schools, uh, BCU and the University of Rhode Island. When I was at Indiana, I wasn't really thinking about transferring. I thought I was going to stick it out. But uh, it was a coach here at the University of Rhode Island who, who I grew up with uh, because, he, because of the relationship with my family. Uh, they were great friends, and he called my dad and told him that he wasn't really liking the situation I was in at Indiana. And he gave, uh, he told, he gave me that uh, advice to transfer. So that's what I looked into and I decided to do. Uh, I seen at his school that they were a great team in the A-10. I seen that they were uh, on the way up, so they were skyrocketing with their record. They were having a winning record, and they were coached by one of the great um, coaches, Coach Dan Hurley. And so I looked into their school, and I asked him, could I go there? And he said he would love to have me here. So I, I thought about transferring here right away. But uh, once I decided to transfer, you know, more schools started calling me. But I had my mind set on uh, Rhode Island the whole time. Uh, but it was one school that also was in the Atlantic 10 who I uh, would consider going because it was so close to home, and that was VCU. But uh, at the end of the day, University of Rhode Island, they, they have more of a family atmosphere. And um, if I couldn't be close to home, at least I knew that I was uh, that I had a family atmosphere feeling around here. So, you know, that's why I chose University of Rhode Island. As Stan's redshirt year comes to an end, he plans to make an immediate impact on the court next year. Um, something that I would like the Rhode Island fans to know is that um, I'm working every day. I'm working hard. Uh, it's not easy, um, but I am giving my all, and I will give my all on the court. And I will do everything that I can to uh, help my team get to the NCAA tournament.